want to add any oil in my hair first. I just want to see how good this product is. So I'm going to see if it gave me the definition that I wanted in the shine. Like, okay, I can see the definition. You can see I did leave the bobby pins in. You can see one here. And it just flattened my roots out some. Okay, what I am noticing is this cream is flaking up, which I am not a fan of. So I hope it is not throughout my hair or I will not be happy because I didn't mix this product with anything. Ooh, ooh. Please do not let a lot of white flakes be in my hair. OMG. I think I spoke too soon about this product. I'm like, yes, it gave the moisture, but I am not with the flaking. I mean, who wants that if you, if it took you a long time just to do the twist? I am upset. It looks like it's snowing over here, all of these flakes. I don't know. Yes, the twist came out good. I can see the definition, the shine, but these white flakes just topped it off and I'm about to say negative to this product. I see you have to mix this product with something. With a lot of curling creams, you don't have to do that. Normally it's when you combine gel or some type of curling custard with it, that's when it might flake. But just this product by itself, really? What kind of that? Well, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm going to go ahead and separate them some more with oil this time. Got my coconut oil here. Let me take my ring off.
I got the definition, the shine, the moisture, all of the above. Look at this. Look. Look how good it turned out. Oh. Alrighty, here are my twists. I am just loving the definition and the length. I'm like, this is why I like to leave my twists in for a day or two and then take them down. You see the definition? And after using the coconut oil, I don't see any flakes coming out at all anymore. So I'm satisfied with this. I was just going to go crazy. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Peace.